Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I know it's been a while, but I was on vacation, so sorry for that. Today, we're going to take a look on one new feature that Microsoft presented in Microsoft Forms, you know, one of my favorite tools. And as you can see, we can jump right into it and see that we have now restrictions available in Microsoft Forms. So that means that you can choose between a variety of restrictions on what the user, or maybe not choose, but maybe control a little bit, what the user are, uh, is entering in your answer fields, right? So it can be the length or a number of something, or it may be a specific text that needs to be contained. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Before we continue with the video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give the thumbs up at the video if you liked it at the end. And uh, yeah, have fun. Yeah, so as you can see, I've already created one demo form. Uh, I've called it text restricted form, very uh, inspirational. And I started by creating one question here, which is called question. And here are the, these three dots, you can activate the restrictions, right? So this is the new feature is hidden here. And what this allows now is that you can select the restriction to be a number, a text, the length, an email or an URL. Right, so the number, for example, is um, going to be compared with, for example, is number or greater than and something like that or equal to, not equal to, like the typical comparison uh, logic that we are familiar with. And we can say that it's between uh, 10 and 20. So now if I uh, preview this and then I enter here the number nine, that will not be accepted. It says your number must be between 10 and 20. If I write 11, that's acceptable. And then I can submit this form, which is very practical, right? So if we go back to this question here and let's see, we can say that the text contains the, I don't know, my name, for example, and yeah. And if we preview this, then please enter the text that contains an air. So if I start writing, um, hello, my name is Michael, uh, like that, uh, it will not be accepted because your name is not an air. If you say my name's an air, then all good, right? So yeah, that's, that's also pretty helpful. And then we have here the length, minimum count, we can say maximum count, so minimum, we need to have like 200. Let's make, it, let's make it 20 so that it's easier to, to test it now. And let's see, hello, my name is Enea. And then we reach our minimum 20 and then the maximum is open. But we can also do the other way around and say the max count is 20. And by testing this out, hello, my name is Enea, we've already reached the maximum, please enter at most 20 characters, and I am 20, uh, I wish, 33 years old. So if I now click submit, it will not allow me to submit it because it says that the question one is not correct. So if I remove, my name is, let's use the initials here, and let's say submit, and that will be then submitted. So. What do we have else? And let's see, we have here the email. So let's see restrictions email. Here you cannot select anything else. What this means is that you have to create this um, email type of text. Otherwise, it will not be accepted. So if it's like this, uh, it will still be accepted, looks like, because it thinks it's an email. But D, please enter an email, E. So yeah, this is how you can restrict the text to only being email. And last but not least, URLs. And this is the same, you cannot say anything here, it's just text testing if this is a URL or not. And I'm going to paste here, or right, why well, I cannot paste anything, did I copy this? Oh yeah, there it is. Um, I'm going to paste here the URL from forms. And as you can see, this will allow me to submit it. But if I remove this part here, uh, it will still allow me to submit it. Maybe if I remove this one. Yeah, so it, it, it needs that, that something format that to be recognized as an URL. If it's a valid URL or not, it's not that smart to um, 
recognize that, but at least you have like some kind of control. Yeah, so that's it actually. Um, I am happy that this new feature now was introduced in Microsoft Forms since this will allow us users or our as creators of these forms to have a bit more control of what our users are entering in these fields. So I hope you liked the video. If you did so, as I said at the beginning, um, give it a thumbs up and please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos like this. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.